Fala pessoal, aqui é o Voldo, bem-vindo ao canal Passando Estresse E no vídeo de hoje vamos continuar jogando The Call <risos> Pra quem ainda não entendeu, é, explicar a piada é, é sempre complicado né Mas enfim, cada vídeo é diferente eu uso o nome de uma música do Backstreet Boys é, é, enfim, não é engraçado Ou é, sei lá, também, eu gostei Enfim o nome do jogo é Tell Me Why, tá? Por conta da música... Uh, I Want It That Way? Essa que tem Tell Me Why? Tell Me Why and I... É, I Want You That Way. Que ficou famosa recentemente por conta do Eddie, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Hey, beautiful. You okay? Because, girl, you look like shit. I uh, haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Oh, Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Parece meu primo, mano. Vou, vou almoçar aqui e já tô indo almoçar, tá ligado? Olá, Miss Ronan. Uh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh, yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. Uh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh, yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Just needed to drop off some paperwork with Eddie. The chief's busy right now, but you could leave him in his mail slot. In his mail slot. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Sounds like Eddie's busy. Uncle's in there. He's really letting that guy have it. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. Soltar. Nossa, tava jogando Fallout 76. I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. E a tradução tá bem ruimzinha. Vamos, fia. I dropped my stuff off upstairs, so I'm gonna go wait in the break room. Okay, hon. I won't be much longer. <laughs> Dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool, yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. Linda's pretty concerned, but, uh, growing boys, right? He needs the extra energy. He wants to let her in wrestling, and, who boy, is he working hard. Damn. Sometimes I miss being 14. Tá com uma cara boa. É. Podia ser melhor, mas não ficou muito ruim, não. You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? What are you having? Trout pie and uh, black radish. I'm on a diet. A cobbler diet? Hey, shh, shh, shh. shh. I won't tell if you won't. What you reading? Oh, uh, about that dock strike and the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh. Hate strikes. What is this, Paris, France? Come on! <laughs> It's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. Hey, Gregs. <laughs> so, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? 
Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Nothing too serious. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. I don't like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's, like, actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property <laughs> crimes double the national average. People coming in all the time from God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. Hey, Gregs. Got any big vacation plans coming up? Yeah, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to go there someday. It's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. <sighs> Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Hmm. An animal? Like a raccoon, maybe? Have you been eavesdropping in on official police business? <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's, it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Well, we need to try again soon. I feel so bad about missing your birthday. I thought about making you something, but I was a little strapped for time, so... No, I get it. With your brother back, I see where your priorities are now. What? No, no, it's not... Relax, I'm just kidding. I really gotta go now. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, alright? See ya. Well... There go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? What do you mean? Well, you know, how he went and broke into the archive room, then pretty much assaulted your uncle? Look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? <laughs> yeah, the sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the Chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at him all day. We did what we had to, to get what we needed. All right, I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time, and people, they mostly don't change even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, stable. You're not a troublemaker. But Tyler, I mean, if he goes now, don't let him take you with him, okay? I, I can't. I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please, just let me go. I need air. I need some air. before this will pass 
Eu tenho que fazer alguma coisa? You're getting there, Allison. You're getting there. I'm okay. I'm okay. What's happening? Are you okay? Yes. Are you fibbing? I'm scared. I don't know what these people are gonna be like. Or when I'm gonna see you again. We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're gonna be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going now. Come on. Wait, Chief. Just a sec. Hey, uh, kids. I, um, uh, went back to the house and got a few things for you. I, I know how much he's meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids, I... This is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. And then we can talk about what happened. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong. About everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him, over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back, and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. Hmm. That's not true, Uncle. I was there. I... You were 11 years old. There was nothing you could do. 
You can't go on letting it haunt you every waking moment. Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... I never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You gotta tell those ghosts to move on. Pronto. Uncle. It was me. Vamos falar a verdade. I... Ele não vai acreditar. Is the one who had the scissors. What? 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 What are you saying? She. She was threatening Tyler. <sighs> confessed he he went to fireweed we lied we lied to everyone é por lei os dois seriam processados agora se você confessa um crime que você não cometeu você também paga pelo crime não com a mesma pena obviamente não é mais How? How could you let him take the blame? It was a mistake, I know. But we were in shock. And Tyler wanted to take the blame. And I let him. But we should have told the truth. It must have really hurt. Keeping that inside all these years. I pretty much just bottled it up. And now it's all I can think about. <laughs> Everywhere I look, she's there. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> it's not easy to admit something like that. It takes a lot of courage, Allison. I, I should have seen it. I... Gente, é claro que não dá para comparar esse jogo, so esse sorry. estúdio. None of this was fair to you too. Com The Last of Us, com Naughty Dog. Mas The Last of Us estragou os jogos para mim. Ó, oh, por exemplo, essa cena tá boa. Quando ela fica em silêncio, fica legal. Mas quando ela abre a boca, a sintonia não tá mesmo, as expressões não estão condizentes. E aí, mano, a imersão vai pro saco. How are you feeling now? E Any engraçado, better? de novo, citando Relieved, o Life Strange. Really Eu não senti isso no Life Strange. Não sei se talvez porque não fosse tão dramático assim. Ai, ah, ela já tá normal, ela já happened. tá normal de novo. The day Tyler left for Fireweed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. I remember he brought us our goblin figurines. And we had a big group hug? Yeah. He borrowed the house keys so he can go out and get them. He was over at our house a lot, fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was, but did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, 
your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me, too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. Ah. I don't say see. Se vale a pena continuar aqui com a história do Sam. Que daí é mais uns 20 minutos, né? Ah, vamos. Vamos. Aí provavelmente... <coughs> Desculpa. Aí provavelmente okay. eu só faço um último episódio. You can do this. E vai ser a primeira série que eu vou terminar no canal. Além do Double Dragon e da Until Dawn. Mas essa eu vou terminar. Essa é fato. Quebrado, dei a volta. Darei a volta. Lugar bonito, mano. Olha. Isso é doido. Vou até ficar aqui um pouquinho pra depois capturar pra colocar na thumb essa imagem. Pera aí, vamos ver. Vou colocar ela pra cá. Modo foto. Fica parada, mulher. Acho que tá bom. Beleza. Damn it. Acho que vai mais uns 20 minutos. Oh, Ali, I... Hello. Oh, Hi, Joe, do Last of Us. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. So, um, I was over at the station. Are you gonna be long? So, um... What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the work? What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. <clears throat> I can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? I was hoping to, uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, here she is. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it's time for annual haul out. Haul out? No bananas on board? Really? Damn right. It's not just superstition. This one time, this greenhorn brought one on board. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh... Never mind. Uh, where's your brother? We had a fight. <laughs> Bit of sibling rivalry, huh? Oh, you should have seen me and my little brother have at it. Right up. Right up till the end. Vamos logo. So, um, I was over at the station and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. 
You puked all over my slick denim button-up. That's a nice memory. How's the, uh, how's the house coming along? Slow. There's a lot to do. Of course. I mean, <laughs> there's a whole life, uh, lives in there. Real shame. So, um, I was over at the station, and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button up. That's a nice memory. Ok, e aí? Espero sem ficar disponível. Nossa, como esse jogo... Nossa, nossa, mano, como... Nossa. Como esse jogo fica dragging, cara. Shit. These freaking nuts. Duck. Would this help? Oh, uh, thanks, princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh, it's in a rib can. Not a princess. Impressive collection. You want some? Take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh... Oh, oh, that's a really nice sextant. Well, it sure is. It's a present for my old... Hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Mm. Yeah, your mother gave that to me. Really got me thinking about things. Tem que pegar uma lata vermelha. What happened? Busted my finger with that stupid wrench. Grab me a gauze. Should be in that cupboard over there. Tá, aonde? 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 Order aonde? Daqui a pouco eu vou começar a falar palavras e vou tomar tipo. Order onde, caramba? Ah, aqui. Tá vendo? Esses, esses, esses bagulho pra criar um falso. Find anything? Sam, are you our father? <sighs> Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Well, I wish I was. 
What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ali. But the man you're looking for... He ain't me. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. You two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look, we were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. Help them. I, I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. Come in. Come in. Oh. When was the last time you cracked a window? Heat's on the fritz. Ugh. Come over here. Sit with me. What's all this? Here. I, uh, kept a few things. Can I? She looks... happy. Hmm. She was. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jimmy closed the whole thing up. Told her it was gonna be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're gonna have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Ellie, you really gonna go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's it's all that it's all we got left. You can't just throw it away. Look at yourself. That's enough. How long are you going to keep feeling sorry for yourself? Are you really just going to drag Marianne behind you for the rest of your life? Give it back. No! I'm sick of watching you play town drunk! For Christ's sake, get it together! You came here looking for my help, and now you're going to stand there and judge me? Things were just fine until you two came along, digging up things that should have stayed buried. Fine? Look around you! You're living with ghosts! Get out. You're pathetic. Get out! Nem era isso que eu queria fazer. Aí você tá num.
Você tá tipo num feeling, aí de repente dando a mina estoura. Eu entendi, as intenções dela foram boas, mas não, não era o jeito. Ah, joguinho. Até que foi rápido. Teria sido 5 minutos se eles não ficassem enrolando. Mas, enfim. O que será que tem naquele sótão? Hey, I'm Tyler. I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa, whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I went back to check on her this morning. She was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... Yeah. Well, I got her to thank for that. You know what I think you need right now? A fishing pole. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Was that wise man you? Hey, like I said, I gotta write my own legacy. So, you in? I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah. It got cold way fast this year. Climate change. That shit's gonna kill us. But hey, fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. Mini game de pesca. Assim que aparecer o ícone de save, eu paro o vídeo. Stage is set. It's show time. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm gonna rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right. Got everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man, I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out and fishing and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right, right. So did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? People came and went a lot. And besides, everyone moves on eventually, right? <laughs> Not everyone. Not people who get so close, they're like family. I already have a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches. And... Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got a bite. You got this. Reel him in. Come on, pull up on the rod. Reel him in. <laughs> Now give it a nice pull. Que minigame tosco. 
Come on, pull up on the rod. I got it. I got it. Slippery mm -hmm. little. Got it. <laughs> Bravo. First of many. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. Hey, so the other day you were talking about your chosen family. How did you find them? Well, high school can be kind of rough when you gotta hide who you are every second of the day. I got to a pretty dark place. I can relate to that. One morning, my uncle woke me up and told me to get into his car. I figured we're going fishing or something, but then we ended up outside the Juno Coalition for Equality. Your uncle brought you to the JCE? Yeah. He didn't know how to help, so I found someone who did. That sounds amazing. You know, even if you don't move to Juno, my offer still stands. The JC holds a monthly meeting. You meet a lot of good people there. I... I'm not sure where I'm going. But, yeah, if I'm around for the next one, I'll give you a call. No pressure. Just letting you know the door is open. You got anything good in there? Maybe. But who says I'm willing to share? Okay, fine. Be that way. All right, here we go. Dá uns piscar de forma emocionante. about them apples. Oh, nice job. So, you weren't all talk. Impressed? I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. You have this whole fancy bag just for ice fishing? You don't mix and match. Ever. Jeez, you don't mess around, do you? T told you earlier. I'm a very serious man. So do you always drive around with an auger in your car? It's not how it looks. Okay, I swear. I was already planning on going ice fishing with the family this weekend. I made a mistake of forgetting the auger one, so we had nothing on hand but an ice chisel. That'll scar a man for life. <laughs> Fair enough. So, what are you gonna make with what we catch? Hey, you got me figured out. A slice of fresh fish, topped with garlic, pesto, walnuts, just a drop of olive oil. Pure perfection. As my partner in crime, you're entitled to a cut. Works for me, partner. So, about last night. I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. Can you blame her? <sighs> Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her. And start fresh. Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. I guess I didn't really think about that. I've been so focused on my own shit. It's been hard, you know? Figuring out how to live. 
Out here? You mean outside of fireweed? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never gonna give up on you. And you can lean on me too if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. Don't you say anything. Até que essa parte foi legalzinha. Well played. <laughs> I got nothing. That was clean. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Can I ask you something kind of weird and maybe hard to answer? Weird and kind of hard to answer my jam. What's up? How'd you know you were ready to uh, trust anyone enough to put yourself out there? Okay. Yeah, that, that is a hard question. <laughs> Told you. There's not really two ways about it. You gotta be willing to take a hit. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth a chance. Don't you? I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you and it'd be cool. I feel safe. You are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. Uh, yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. Acabei de pegar três peixes, velho. Não subestimei minha habilidade de pesca. Não sei se eles chegarem ao ponto de mostrar um homem trans beijando um cis gay. You're missing the show. You okay? Pegou, pegou, pegou. Aí sim, moleque. Aí os tiozão reaça vão falar assim, pra que virou homem se é pra ficar com homem, não era mais fácil continuar com mulher? Enfim, acho que vou... So, uh, yeah. Yes, one way to put it. Hey, Ali. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay, uh, call me later. You know I will. Sorry for interrupting. 
No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Você pegou três peixes, uh, mano. I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. God, why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. I'm not surprised. Burning down the barn didn't really seem like a Sam move. Yeah, I guess it was silly to suspect him in the first place. He'd never hurt Mary Ann's kids. There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Mary Ann first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. E é isso. Espero que tenham gostado desse vídeo. Se gostaram, cliquem no like para dar aquela força para o meu canal. Se inscrevam caso ainda não sejam inscritos. Se possível, tornem-se membros. Compartilhem o vídeo com os amigos. Eu vou ficando por aqui. Aquele abraço e até a próxima. E os meus mais sinceros agradecimentos a Henrique Berni, Projetor, Johnny Michel.